it's Jules once again from The Style Hobbyist and this is the second video that I'm going to DIY and it's really different from the professionally edited videos I had from months ago so I hope you like it. Um, so we're here in a one bedroom unit here in Commonwealth by Century and to those of you who are new to this channel or seeing me for the first time, I'm Jules and I'm a real estate marketing executive but I'm also an interior stylist and I do it as a side hustle of mine because this is my passion. So there. Um, we're here in Commonwealth by Century and this condo is also their model unit. Um, I was fortunate enough to be given this project and so yeah, so this one bedroom unit I used um, Scandinavian design and the target market I had in mind is a single female professional um, and about who loves grays, blush, pink, white, and everything marbled. So there, so if you're that type of girl who likes Pinterest boards and who likes to have a, an Instagram worthy space, um, stay tuned, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. So welcome inside this one bedroom model unit in Commonwealth by Century and it's using a Scandinavian theme and I'll, I'm going to take you through the space one by one. So for this kitchen area, um, I used the gray and white backsplash tiles which you can use and you can get inexpensively in um, Wilcon. So sometimes because that's what people forget, yung backsplash tiles ng kitchen nila. Um, it's not only functional but it's also beautiful and it will liven up your space. For the dining area, I used a four-seater um, set. This one actually was an old set and I had it reupholstered. It wasn't really that old, you know. Um, it was from a previous model unit. So I just had to spruce it up, change the fabric, and voila, you have your new set of chairs. And it's also in gray. And then on top of the table, of course, since it's a model unit, you have to simulate a, of course, a styled dining set. So I have of this set of parang taupe ceramic plates, um, saucers, and platito. Got this from SM Home. Next is the living area and this is probably my favorite part of this unit. So this is a two to three seater sofa. Again, this is not a brand new piece because this was from a previous um, unit as well, but it wasn't really used, so I just reupholstered it and voila! Ganda niya, diba? So gray. And then on top of it, meron tayong hexagonal mirrors that you can get per set. So if you remember the first, the earlier um, video with the two bedroom unit, so this you can get per set, right? So you can even mix and match. So you have the traditional mirrored without the the film, the coloring, and then I mixed it with the ones with bronze. So it doesn't have to be like all the same and it will create a bit of um, character to this space as well. Now let's talk about the wallpaper because, oh my gosh, I really love this one. Um, this is para marble print uh, again from my good friend Bonnie of Asia Walljoy so I decided to use the same wallpaper all throughout the space diba? it creates that para ano ba? very chic kasi siya, yung marble effect diba? it's nice yeah so you can also do this inexpensively so if you don't if you find paint too boring you can always incorporate wallpaper and then for the TV area, don't forget your TV console. So even if your TV is installed on the wall, you can still put a console underneath so you can put your knickknacks, your books, whatever. So this one, I got this, I ordered this online. So this is white with like beech wood. This is, this is, I think, this is a solid wood. This whole thing, this is not laminate. Also inexpensive. Next to the
the dining area is this console that I also incorporated. So this one is very narrow and it's made of um, parang steel frame with powder coated in powder coated and white. So this is a glass. So if you don't want it to be too visually heavy, you can also um, use glass instead. Actually, even for the dining table, if I had more budget, I would I would choose a glass tabletop. But I had to work with the budget that I had, so it still works naman. And then on top of it, meron tayong shelves that I installed, and then these canvas artwork pieces. Um, FYI, I made these. <laughs> so I just designed them and then um, I had it printed. So we also have a printing business, so we print on canvas. So if you if you wanna request something you wanna buy, just go to uh, the Instagram page at Furnish Manila. So well, I haven't been really active in posting there, but yeah. So we do this also um, wall artwork. Diba? it's nice. And then remember the fall flowers that I had in the two bedroom unit. So I also got one for this one bedroom so this is um, fall flowers parang vine show with roses diba? arte arte lang <laughs> it creates a, a bit of character kasi for the kitchen syempre alam ko naman maglagay ako dito ng mga you know maduming hugasan right or mga platito na, na gamit na actually in real life but syempre pag model unit you have to um, keep it stylish and clutter free So after this living area, right next to it is the bedroom. So this is a one bedroom model unit. Um, yeah, so you can fit a queen or double size bed. So this one is a queen size. I'll just show you one by one what I did. Okay, let's talk about this wallpaper. In person, it's actually parang teal. Um, you can't see it lang kasi with this um, with this camera and lighting, but yeah, the style is parang meron tayong script writing, right? Very very scandy chic, and I love it. Yeah, a closer look here. And then for the bed. Um, well, if you have your own space, my suggestion is to really invest your money in a good bed because you will spend a third of your life sleeping. <laughs> so this one is a nice bed frame. Um, this one was reupholstered. Um, I used a beige fabric. Parang in person, it looks like like a social na kacha. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's it was reupholstered. And then for the bed sheets, this one is from John Lewis. This one and then for accessory parang yeah this one is also from archipelago and then also the throw pillows I think I got these from archipelago as well those textured ones are not not the printed ones at the back next to the bed is this rolling cart yeah so this is also inexpensive and I got this online. Um, why why a rolling table? Well, this is just more ano ba, flexible. So if you have a space, you just want to have a side table, but you, you want to easily move it around because right in front of it is the closet area. So yeah, so just this just gives it you know flexibility if you want to move it here and you have to have more space right next to it. On the other side is an actual nightstand with drawers. So this one is white. And then on top of it is a um, um, bedside table lamp. This one is gold with a white shade. So let's talk about the paint this time around for this bedroom. So I chose this super chic pink blush paint from Boysen. 
Um, it's different kasi in person, so it's a bit washed out from this angle of this phone, but it actually looks very nice with this teal wallpaper. So it's very girly. Actually, hindi ako girly talaga. Very androgynous ako. So even my colleagues, they said this was really a stretch for me, but I had fun. Now let's also talk about this shoe cabinet across the bed. So since the space is really narrow, I didn't want to put anything heavy on this side. So this one acts as a console where you can put your phone, you can charge behind it. Oh, there's a there's an electrical power source and then you can put sh your shoes in here. Well, for me, if this was my home, this is not enough, so I'll probably fill it up. You can buy this actually per set and then you can um, install them side by side and even on top of each other. I think they have that option as well, so you can check it out. And then on top of it is this canvas wall art, which I made and we printed. <laughs> now let's talk about the light fixture. This is a white, super gaan ito actually. Para siyang made of paper and it's like the origami type. Yeah. So if you have your own bedroom, don't don't be afraid to inject a little bit of texture and interest by like for example a light fixture. You can buy them inexpensively na nga eh. These days, hindi naman na mahalage. So, like, for this one, you can even find this in mga Home Depots or mga online stores. You can just check them out and then order. So, I'll just show you the space one more time. There. For this living area, let's not forget to talk about this nesting coffee table. And it's super cute. It's shades of gray and white. Look at that. You can extend it or close it up if you need more space. And then this one, this marbled, marble looking flower vase is from Archipelago. And then, all, of course, don't forget your area rug. This one I chose, the very plush one. Sobrang cute. And beside it is a gold-toned lamp with a gray shade. And it's up close. It's part of concrete yung effect na to. But it's nice also. Yeah. And then for throw pillows, well, this one I got from SM as well. But white na fluffy. It goes well kasi with this fall fur na pink naman. So also from Archipelago. And then lastly, this light fixture that I got. In person, it's matte gold. And it has this white parang shade for the bulb. So I hope you can see it up close. I'm trying to focus on it. So it's really, really beautiful in person so yeah I incorporated this so even if your ceiling is of a standard height so you can see no in this living area is it's higher and then the kitchen it has that uh, lower ceiling you can still add uh, a hanging light fixture just make sure that the, that the drop height is enough for the space so let me show you the space again. There. That's the space. Yeah, so from androgynous last time to ultra girly. Oh, meron din pala tong, yeah, meron din ditong provision for a washer dryer. So on top of it, I just added some accessories. This is the bathroom, which I didn't have to style so much, so... There. Ooh, I'll show you the balcony next. 
Okay, sing it lang, okay? Um, so, I already did a video for condo goals about this particular unit. So, if you're curious about what you're gonna get if ever you invest in Commonwealth by Century, just go to the Facebook page of Century Properties Real Estate and also the Instagram page of Condo Goals. So, there. If you're interested to buy, let me know. Maybe I can give you a discount. <laughs> Okay, so for this one bedroom, you also get this entire balcony all to yourself. Adiba? Ang, ang laki. Pwede kang mag party dito, right? And then for this unit, the view is on the other side, so it's not really the amenities. But it's still, it's still nice. It's, it's quiet. You can only hear the, the air con. <laughs> That's the balcony. Alright. Alright, so that's about it for this Scandinavian themed one bedroom unit here in Commonwealth by Century. And I hope you really like it. And if you have some comments, suggestions, questions where you got some items, just leave your comment down below. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up or Subscribe as well and ring that bell down below. Oh, di ba? Para ka lang vlogger. Anyway, so this is my attempt at doing a DIY video for this channel. And I hope um, you stay tuned for the next ones. So I'll see you once again. And also follow me on Instagram at The Style Hobbyist. So this is Jules and I'll see you next time. Bye!